Working with reinforcing, I'd like to put some horizontal bars. In AutoCAD, we used to have to create a donut to do this. Now we actually use rebar. In my project browser, I'm going to scroll down till I find typical foundation edge detail, and I'm going to double click that. Now I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to go ahead and select my wall, and I'm going to click on the rebar button again. I'm going to keep with my rebar shape double aught. But for my placement, this time I'm going to go parallel to cover. Notice now when I put in my rebar, I'll see that I can put it in horizontally. Also notice that we can specify our rebar number. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it in right about here. Then I'm going to hit escape a couple times. I'm going to select my rebar. Now for my layout, Instead of single, I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to go maximum spacing. Now I'm going to look over here and I'm going to scroll down. So my maximum spacing, my spacing wants to be 12 inches. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to hit escape a couple of times. And notice that when we come down here, it's going to actually stop itself at the cover. Up here, it stops itself at the cover. If I wanted a little closer to this bar, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just select the rebar itself and I'll hit my little arrow to the right. That's called the nudge command. I can nudge that over. Now what I like to do is I'm going to select my horizontal rebar. I'm going to type MM and I'm going to mirror it about the center line. What's nice is now I know that this bar is kind of off. So I'm going to hover over this bar, hit my tab key, and select it, and just delete it. Select this bar, type MM, and mirror this. We don't want to get sloppy now. Next thing I want to do is I want to put a little keyway down here. So to do that, what we need to do is go to the View tab. Under Graphics, I want to click on the Cut Profile button. For edit, I want to edit boundary between faces. I'm going to click on this boundary right here. Now I'm going to kind of sketch this, but I'm just going to sketch a keyway. So I'm going to pick a point right about here. I'm going to come in at 45 degrees. I'm going to pick this point. I'm going to go to the midpoint. And I'm going to hit escape a couple of times. Now I'm going to select this magenta line. I'm going to type MM. I'm going to click on the center line. I'm going to mirror it. I'm going to type TR for trim. I'm going to click this horizontal line. I'm going to click this line. Now I'm going to click on finish edit mode. Here we go. This is starting to look like an actual detail.